Oh my lovers, I am quivering all over. You know that feeling you get with the, when you, your hairs on the back of your head go up and oh, I'm, I'm all of a quiver. I've, I think I've got some gold, gold. Oh, yes. Just out of reach. Oh, there is a few down a bit lower though. Oh, yeah. Mmm, 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 mmm. -mm. Right, let's get detecting. Oh no! My CTX is broken. Oh, oh it's broken. <laughs> I found. I went out with the GPX. I found seven targets, and I pegged them all. And then I went over them with the uh, CTX, and it said iron. I thought, oh, that sounded like a good signal. I did the next one, iron. I thought, oh, I must be losing my touch. I did all seven targets, and it all said iron. I thought this can't be right and I've just noticed that the uh, CTX has got some sort of fault. Um, I'll show you. I had the headphones on because there's cows nearby, I don't want to attract them. Right, so unplug that. Plug it in. All right, wait for it to fire up. Now the volume. Volume's on maximum. Look how quiet it is. You can hardly hear it. But the volume is on maximum. And it seems to be sort of too bad there but then other targets you can hardly hear it now if I get a coin and do this coin sounds all right nothing wrong with it so it's not picking it, it doesn't seem to be picking up the uh, the targets very well it said all of them were iron, and that can't be right. They all sounded really good. So now I've unpegged them, I don't know where they were. Oh! Oh! So they could have been a hammered coin there. I'm going to have to go back and find them and dig them only with the uh, GPX. Oh, I've managed to find the first signal, or one of the signals, and I think it's a coin! Woohoo! Oh yes, it looks like a coin. Oh, oh, I'm attached. I'm attached to the pesky machine. Oh, it's a coin. Is it a coin? It's not a shank there in the middle, is it? Better not be. Better not be a pesky shank. Oh, right. Yeah, I think it's a coin. Give it a... Ooh. Give it a rub on the magic trousers. Oh, get this pesky machine off me. I'm attached to it with the lanyard. Oh, uh, ooh, ooh, it could be medieval. Is it my first medieval find from this field? Well, not first, obviously, but might be first coin. It's got a, it's got an outside rim. Look, see the outside rim. And a big letter there, look, R, with dots, pellets, is it you call them? 
and there's the ring again look see it around the outside right I'm gonna get this carefully cleaned up and get back to you but it looks medieval woohoo yeah looks could be a jetton could be could be a jetton it might be one of those Bristol tokens what's that there is that a hole or just a bit of corrosion Right, and carefully, very carefully. Can I see anything after doing that? Uh, no. Oh, I can, I can. It's a ship. There's a ship. It's a Bristol token. You can just see the bottom of the ship going round. See it? Right, is that the 16 there? I can see it. I thought it looked like 19, but it can't be 19. <laughs> right, see what it says on this side. That's the ship on that side. That should this should have the GB. It should, it should say GB for Great Britain. Uh, this side looks pretty toasted. Uh, oh no, I can see something. I can see. Is it C or G? I can see a. Is that a C there? Can you see the C? It seems more visible when it's wet. Right, well, it's a bit, it's a bit toasted. But we think it's a Bristol token. Right, I let it dry out. And then I give it a rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Yeah, it's pretty toasted, this coin. You can just see the, uh, is it the CB or GB? Or I can't remember which one it is. Just there, look, see it? Big, big letter. And underneath, round about here, it would have 1600, so there'll be a 1600s date. Um, on this side, uh, can you see the ship? There's a ship in the middle there. What I'll do is I'll put a, another picture up here of what this coin looks like when it's in better condition. Lovely jubbly, first signal, not bad. On to the next. Oh, I got a lovely signal down here. See, it's no squirrely noises, there's no, no um, wobbling. It's a nice smooth signal. Right. I'll unplug you first. And we'll see if I can find it. Oh. oh. It's not the worm. Oh, I can see something. I can see something green. Oh, it's a pesky button. Look. It's a pesky button. So that's two good targets on the trot. Yeah, I'm being forced not to use my uh, CTX where well, it's going to have to be fixed, isn't it? So, uh, is that what's that name of that bloke does work out the back of his garage, fixes mine lab stuff? Is it Stuart? Or was it Steve? It might be Steve. Anyway, I'm going to have to go and see him. I might email him, show him the video. Right, on to the next. Oh, I've got another signal down here. Oh, I can see it, I can see it. It's a ring. Is it a ring? If only I had my little trowelly thing. Oh well, I might find it today. It looks like a ring. 
Oh, oh, yeah, there, there it goes. Ah, oh, it's not a ring. It's a something else. Is it a shield boss? Is it made of iron? It's made be made of iron. Whatever next? Oh, I was hoping to have had it sussed. Is it iron? Yeah, I think it is. Right, it's whatever one of those is. Ugh. Still, I suppose it's a perfect signal, isn't it? That little hole. Any any metal detector would have said, "Ooh, dig me." I'm gonna have to get my nails cut. Oh, I got a target. Me thinks in here somewhere. Sounded pretty good on the detector. Ah. Oh, it's a pesky gold-plated four-oiler button. Oh, gold-plated button, look. Oh. Gold-plated underwear button. Oh, they must have been posh. Right. Oh, well. Oh, I've got some writing on it. What does it say? It says... I'm going to take my glasses off. Oh, ow. Oh, yeah. Right, it says... Does that say Bristol? Uh, S. Smith? S. Smith? Something Smith. Oh, it's a bit uh, small. Let's see if you can see it. It is a bit... Uh, it's a bit small for me. Can you read that? Freeze frame. Press pause on the computer. Right, on to the next. I've now worked out how to pinpoint with perfect accuracy. I, I get it every time now, every time I get it smack bang in the center. Hopefully this will be something nice. It's in here somewhere. Oh. Where is it too? That's not a stand. Uh, no, it's not a stand. Oh, it's not the other half of that pig. It looks like the other half, and I'm nowhere near the other place. Can't be. Got to be different. Got to be a different one. It is a different one. Oh, it's a pig! Woohoo! I don't think it's a Roman one this time. Right, where's my tough brush? I'm going to give him a little bit of a clean up and I'll get back to you. Oh, he's missing a, he's missing a, a limb. Yeah, there he is. Is it a Gloucester old spot? I'm going to have to get this uh, honking right. <laughs> yeah, another pig. It could have to be my favourite finds. <laughs> right, on to the next. Right, if you're not interested in this, I suggest you fast forward because this is how you pinpoint with the GPX. So you think the target's here, say, right? What you want to do is you want to come in at 12, uh, 3, 6 and 9. And each time you come in, you want to find where the signal is loudest. So say the signal is loudest here, from this direction. From that direction, it's loud over here. From this direction, it's loud here. And from that direction, it's loud here. Well, you do that. And X marks the spot. That would be exactly where the target is. So you, you walk around and you come in, and you come in each time, walking across, swinging, find where it's loudest. 
each direction and where it's loudest in each place the center is the exact location of the target so you either just like stick your heel in right and mark each spot or you just visualize it on the ground each spot um, you have to do each each four places tricky tricky <laughs> right it's not dark yet Let's see if we can find some more good stuff right obviously this is the center of my uh, where I thought it was going to be and I wasn't far off Got it. There it is. Oh, what's that in there? Uh, don't know. And it is a little, a little D buckle. Are you going up? I'm perfect now. I don't. I don't need a, the CTX to uh, double check the signals. I can see it every time, almost. Oh, my lovers! I am quivering all over. You know that feeling you get with the, when your your hairs on the back of your head go up, and oh, I'm, I'm all of a quiver. I've I think I've got some gold, gold. Oh, yes. I think I think it's gold. Oh, oh, is it gold? Is it? I think it is. Oh, is it gold? Is it? Not a lot of gold, but it's a some sort of little brooch. find a hallmark is it gold well it's certainly got a nice gold color oh can't see any hallmarks oh it's gold it's got to be gold How about that? Right, let's get this cleaned up. I want to find some more marks to be sure, but uh, it's not corroded and it looks dead posh. Has it got any weight to it? Well, it's a bit, not much gold if it is. Right, lovely jubbly. Woohoo! Oh, here we are. Uh, gotta have some more marks. It gotta be. It's gotta be gold, surely. Look at it. It's gleaming. It's gleaming. If this was fake, it would be. You'd see it coming off in the ground, wouldn't you? It would. Is that whole mark there? And a bit of dirt. I cannot see any hallmarks, which is worrying. I'm very worrying that. No, no hallmarks that I can see. But uh, how about that? I got a testing kit home. I'll test it for purity. But see how it's very thin round here? very thin like uh, they didn't want to use too much if it is gold it's almost foil going around this edge 
So I would say in all probability that this is indeed gold. Yeah, very intricate work. Oh, right. Lovely jubbly. I haven't had gold for years, years. Whew. Right. Let's see if I can find some more. Well, probably not gold, obviously. This is a, this is a once a year find. Well, apart from when I'm going to get down to the beach with my GPX, I'll probably find a lot of gold then. Obviously, because it sees really deep. But, uh, yep, that looks like gold to me. On to the next. Right, I'll put it on the floor. And uh, we're going to put the, uh, the CTX over it just to see what uh, the numbers are. It's, it's, for some reason, it's very quiet. You can hardly hear it. It's on maximum volume. But when I put it over any kind of object, it goes loud, so we'll see what the numbers are. Twelve oh eight. Twelve oh eight. That's a low tone. Just goes to show you've got to dig those foil numbers. Yeah. Foil number. Oh. Think of all those gold coins you've passed over because you thought they were foil. Go look at that there, my lovers. If I hadn't have found that thing, uh, it would have been a right beep day. A button. Bristol token, not too bad. Bristol token, could have been in better condition. Um, a pig and a buckle and some bits of iron. All sort of almost coin shaped and a, that thing fooled me a bit. I don't know what it is. Funny looking eye nail. Perhaps it's a nail for a horseshoe or something. Yeah, and then I found this. Oh, what a day. I told you I'd be digging treasures with the GPX. And I am digging treasure. Right, I'm off to the pub for some jars of ale. Woohoo! That's it, me lovers. I'm off to the pub. Woohoo! Cheers! And gently drops the rain. I have never had but one true love. In green would he lie slain. I'll do so much for my.